Let us talk about this one, my people. Korobidi took the right stand. And when we say took the right stand, let's go back. Y'all know what I'm talking about today. If you don't, I'm going to pretty much direct you to exactly what I'm talking about. Because I believe that everybody would have heard about what happened with that lady who went to Mr. Korobidi's home two times in 2023, two times she went to his home. I'm sure that all of you heard about it on the media, right? Because people spoke about it. Her herself even came out trying to defend herself. But basically, when she went to his home, I don't know if it was the on the first time she went or the second time when she went, where she took pictures of his dirty fridge um, in on the media as well, in addition to taking pictures photos of his fridge she also took photos of his kids and little videos as well some of those videos uh, were not something that you would want to be out there of your children you know what I mean and for a person to even go into his home and do something like that you know that something is not right with them right because why were you going to take videos of people's kids and and not only take videos of them but at times where the children weren't even wearing any clothes, then share those with other people. That is really sick. That is sad. And in my opinion, somebody like that, that would do something like that, they should have been arrested for that because she claimed that he knew about it, right? That it was okay with him. He never uttered one word about it, never talked about it. He came out here, did almost a 10 series of his side of the story, right? Where him and Corey's concerned, never address this situation with this woman that came to his home, did these things, and shared them. How do we know that she shared them, right? Because somebody came in my inbox and basically said some things, shared them over there in my inbox, and I was like, oh my God. And I send those over to, you know, Cora and Nancy's email because Cora is also the parent of those children as well. And it was only right that she should know what was going on, what had transpired. So that way she can take a step to do what needs to be done. Verlin said the dad needs to be held accountable as well. And I totally agree with you. I agree 100% because he knew about it. Whether he knew about it when she did it, when people started talking about it, he heard about it. And because I took the stand and chose to even came out here and even mention it at all, that's when a lot of other stuff started to unfold, right? Unfold meaning, obviously now people are hearing about this. She got to come out, defend herself. This body got to say, oh, I was part of this group as well. I don't want the part of like I said, a lot of stuff started to unfold. Least to say, as a mother, seeing those things coming to you with your ch your children, you understand? Of course, that's not going to sit well with you. Those are your girl children. This man allowed this woman, who can't even go near her own grandchildren, to come near Cora Obedi's children. And his too, because they're his children as well. But in some of the videos... One of the videos, she was being very mean to Atina while she was sitting on the party with no clothes on, being very mean to the child. And, you know, I felt so, so sad when I saw that and her, her tone of voice, don't look at me like that, you know. And then the questioning that she was doing to June as well, asking June stupid questions about why do you make so much noise when you're at your mom's house in the, in the bathtub, is the water cold, just silly things that didn't make no sense. But what was worse, not only her even doing that while she was there, but actually sharing it with other people. Because how would the person that sent it to me have gotten it right? How would they have gotten it if she didn't share it to them? Or maybe share it to somebody else that was in a group that shared it to that person. Because I never seek out to figure out who the person was or nothing like that. And obviously they came to me with a fake page. Right? Why would they come in a real page, right? So Lisa said, 
the man heard about it. I know that he did because he watches our videos. He listens because he want to keep up with what's going on. See who pays she can bring down, who's talking about him. So he heard about it. The man did nothing at all. Nothing at all. But every opportunity he gets, he wants to discredit Cora. He wants to make her look like she's a bad parent or like she herself, what she's doing is not right. Meanwhile, he did nothing, nothing when he heard about what this woman did at his house. The man didn't do nothing at all. So the question is truly, what does these people have on him that he wouldn't go and file something against this woman because the woman was in his house when she did this and if somebody's at your house and you did that and you didn't immediately give them permission to do it even if they sent you those things after the fact you should have spoke with that person to find out why would you video record my kids exactly Juanita say he don't love anybody anyone but himself exactly why wouldn't you go and report that woman he should have been the first one to go and report that woman. Let me tell you why. Because Kao was in Nigeria at that time when this happened. So it should have been his duty first. Even if Kao had to wait until she come back, his duty to go report that woman as a parent is what he should have done. But later we also found out that this man sometimes even go on video with his children so that those people could say hi to the kids, all because they're giving him gifts. Money was coming in for him, whatever the gifts was coming in for him, so it was okay. True, exactly, Juanita. You're right about that, which is very sad. Juanita say he will let anyone watch them kids. He's pathetic. I agree, because remember, when he first moved to the house, when he went out, when he said, when he claimed that allegedly the person that lived downstairs of that rented house was some sort of person that did um, child something before whatever, which is probably a lie. He probably just saying that to make it seem like he left his children in the hands of somebody that's responsible. But it doesn't matter anyways, because he had just moved there. Now, Beautiful Grenada said, eh -eh. if... If it was one of Cora's friends or relatives, he and his minions would have reported them exactly, immediately. They would have all ganged up and said, go report them, go report them. This is not right. It's negligence. It's this. Oh, yes, they would have been on it. Uh, Gloria Jones also said he stayed in some house in Portugal, but throwing, hey, throwing shade at Cora saying, you think I will be attacked here? What's wrong with him? He has a problem. Cora don't even mention that man. Why would you be on vacation and mentioning Cora? Or even anything that she does, right? Priscilla Gardner, thank you so much for 200 stars. I appreciate you. But it's not even about him because he want to make everything about him. He want to make jokes about everything. That's why he should be held 100% accountable for this as well. And I pray to God that, I mean, it's pending right now, right? Cora has filed. Um, I think it's a lawsuit restraining order against that same woman. And all of you should know who this woman is by now. It's the same local one that when Cora bought her house, she said about how many bedrooms Cora got and something about how one of the rooms are going to be, is it going to have a stripper pole and all kind of stupidness. That same one that came out here on social media, they know Cora from nowhere, started talking all this smack. When she sent Cora some ornament or something, and the thing, basically it was an accident when the thing just fell and broke a little bit. She started having a vendetta against Cora from then, blaming Cora for that, which didn't make no sense at all. Because we, we saw it, Cora was on video, we saw what happened, and Cora was even so sad that it happened. This woman just decided she's going after K.O., and all her videos were talking nasty about Cora, slandering, slandering her, defaming her. She was on it. She was on it. And we came to find out that it was a group of her and about four or five other women, including one Jamaican woman and some others. But least to say, you guys should know who I'm talking about without me calling her name. And I say good rhythms. Good rhythms. Cora took the right stand there. And, you know, I pray that all the evidence is presented on why a restraining order is needed because somebody like that, you don't want somebody like that close to your children anyways. 
if that person can't even be close to her grandchildren or spend time with them or whatever it is that she got going on there or her son don't even want nothing to do with her why would somebody bring her around their children why this man ain't got no kind of <clears throat> i'm gonna read what you said here jj um jj said nobody knows him without ko so who would attack him oh please he's such a drama queen Marvel, marvelous when some said simply sweet peach i love the fact that kia moved in silence they didn't see this one coming exactly i hope she goes after free for all for uh definition and character um thank you for the hundred stars yes that's how you have to do it with these people move in silence so that way they don't know what you're doing what your plans are what you're about that is exactly the way to do it and the fact that her kids are involved is more reason why Kale went forward with this. Clarice, thank you so much for 50 stars. I appreciate you. Think about it, right? This woman has been out here speaking about this for a little while, right? She's been, oh man, she's been talking the most nastiest thing. She's been doing that for a while. Why didn't Carol file any lawsuit against her before? Why? Because just like all the others that are just talking and talking and talking, she's been ignoring these people. But this particular instant where her children are concerned, no. You cross the line there when it comes to their kids. You cross the line when it came to her kids. Tina said, why even send Cora stuff when you don't like her? That's pure evil. Exactly. Uh, May 6th is a court date. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Wasn't she the one that also sent that thing to KL? about some Nash cleaner or Nash something. Wasn't it her? I think I heard it was her that also sent that to K.O.'s house as well. I might be wrong, but that's what I think I heard. But we say kudos to K.O. They say she also set an example for all the others as well. Because all of them that were involved in this, if y'all didn't see what that man was doing, you're exploiting the children pretty much to me. Is what he's doing because anytime you can get your children to be on the camera for other people to see them when your children are not supposed to be on video at all but you're doing it privately behind the scenes so the question is that when baby J said my daddy wakes me up to do videos my daddy needs me I gotta he wakes me up to do videos what videos the question is was it the videos where he was having those children on and people watched looking at them and only God knows. It's a sad situation. It's terrible. And instead of him coming out here to do, let me tell my story. Let me clear this. Let me clear that. No, what you should have clear is what happened to your children. Don't make it all about you because your children are more important than you. Your children are the future. And the fact that you did not even say nothing about this at all, it makes us to believe that you didn't care. You really don't care about your children. And why bring a criminal that you met only on the internet, on social media, is where you know that woman from. And you bring her in your house. <laughs> what happened to your mama that you knew all your life? Your mama that come to help you build furniture because you can do it yourself. Why did you bring her? But you go and choose to bring a criminal that you met online to take care of your two girls, two precious girls. And if your mama come come, why did you bring your papa? Why? Bring a member of your family. Not go and bring a total stranger that you met online. Online. And we know that this situation started in 2022. That woman, to be honest, came in the picture when maybe late 22 or even maybe, maybe, yeah, late 22 is when that woman surfaced. So if she come to your house already in 2023, you don't even know, you don't even know the woman a good year, but you let this woman come in your house and not only that you went out drinking or whatever you ain't doing and left that woman in your house with your children. Suppose when you came back, that woman was not there. And your kids were gone too. What would you have done? If she was gone and your two kids were gone too. Did you even think about anything like that? That's my whole point. 
negligence. You put your children in danger. And not only that, on top of it, you ask to bring home a woman who's a one night stand that you probably pick up from a bar or wherever allegedly. That same night, while a stranger is in your house. Make it make sense. And you think that we can look at you any different? You think that you can come and compare yourself to Kale? No, it don't work like that. Because the people that are supporting you, all these things they can't see. All these things they cannot see. They refuse to see what's right in front of them. They refuse to acknowledge the truth. Instead, they want to stay steady, beating down Cora, slandering her, defaming her. For what? When this man is doing so much wrong, why not talk about what he's doing as well? Why not look at things for what it is? The reality, instead of trying to look at just things one-sided. Meanwhile, all these things are going on. Y'all people know how many things could have happened. That woman even took pictures of his dirty fridge. Only God knows. Only God knows what else she took pictures of, but in surface yet. She probably went through his documents, draws. That only God knows. But all I know is that we say kudos to Cora. And I pray to God that something is done. She can't see them kids no more. Restraining order, in fact, 100% and whatever else. Whatever else. Because if it was me, I would bring all those little clips of videos where that woman was saying all these nasty things, whatever. Because I'm sure that people got them out there. People have them. Lynette said he can't even protect his children and his care. You're not a good father in long mouth voice. No, don't put in her voice because she's another snake right there. So please. Sorry, Lynette, though. But I, I get what you mean. Uh, beautiful Grenada say amen. Irresponsible and dangerous to have these people got good for that. The item broke. <laughs> the ancestors knew that she was evil. Period. Exactly. So, um, Tina, I saw you put another one in there. So, Selma said to the end of we didn't know them, we knew now that God has a sense of humor. It was the reason why it fell and broke. That is true too. You're right about that. Because only God knows what evil came along with that. What evil spirits or whatever came with it. Because people like that, you don't want gifts from, right? Definitely not. They send you gifts, look, put it somewhere far outside of your house. Because you don't know. Mm. So Linda F said, I am dancing. She is standing for her beautiful girls. Cora is the boss. She said that too, right? When she was in Nigeria, she said, I will handle it when I return. And nobody knew what she meant by that, what she was going to do. But the fact that she's taking a stand, hey, good rhythms to her. I say kudos, kudos all the way. That's what a good parent do. Stand for their children when stuff like this happens. Because the children are innocent. The children are totally innocent. Tina said... Sorry, one moment. Even the questioning was disturbing. Simply sweet peach. Then she had the nerve to say, don't you all take pics of your kids? Hello. They're not your kids. Period. Exactly. They're not your kids. When I heard her say that, I said to myself, is this woman for real? Is this woman for real? Don't you take pictures of your kids? But those are not your kids. They're not even your grandkids. And not only that, who parent you know truly that is even video recorded children waiting in the bathroom naked? Who parent even does that? Thank God that the position that the kids were, were standing in or sitting in that their private weren't showing. Thank God for that. Because this person is not, mm, not right in the head to be very honest. The fact that she did those things, she's not right in the head. And this is the same woman that was out here slandering defaming and trying to beat down his ex every almost every single day and that's the kind of person that you bring in your house to watch your children what makes you think that if she don't like your ex that she like your children or love them she doesn't love your children either because she hate the mother so hello you would prefer to go and bring people like them in your house to take care of your kids 
more than your mother. Well, we know that your mother is not there for the children 100% either. But at least, I think she would have had a little more common sense than to video record your case and share it with people on social media. I believe your mom would have had more sense to do that, right? But you prefer to go and get a total stranger that doesn't like your ex. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Only God knows if Lama was in the U.S., you would have brought her too. If that fright to a toe was close by, you would have brought her too. Well, as a matter of fact, she was at your house. My whole point is anybody that's against you, ex, you will bring to take care of your children. Does that even make sense? Is that a person that has sense? It is not. It is not. And one day, mark my word, your children will hear about all of these things. But that doesn't matter to you, right? Because you don't care. Anything that you can do to with this, try to discredit Cora, try to bring Cora down, is cool with you, right? Anything that you can do. That's such a shame, such a shame. And I pray to God that when, thank you so much, Davina, Dacina for a thousand stars. I appreciate you, darling. I pray to God. Oh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Davina, girl, thank you. Mm, I love that. I pray to God that when all of this come down, that he is implemented in this as well. That this, I might, let somebody come, let some witnesses come forward right pray to god the fact that she said that he knew about it he knew about it so what he doing now is looking for people to video record your case and when he got no really video end up really pictures end up supposing that woman went and sell your children photos the maybe some that we didn't get to see what if she did all of that sell it on the dark web to those people that like the, the children prone and all of that. Did you think about them kind of things? That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't understand how grown people could sit down and listen to you. Knowing and hearing all these things around this media. Um, one moment because I'm seeing. Thank you so much for 500 stars. One moment. I got to open back up. Pauline Johnson. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate you. All of these. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Now, that one is cute. Both of those were cute. Um, wait one moment. Somebody put a comment in there. Okay. Sophia Millington Cart Carter said, just saw him showing where he is staying. And saying that he can't get attacked. He got good gigs. The, the man is an idiot. God, man. Christy running Porter, thank you so much for 50 star. Look, honestly, I don't even want to like listen to him no more. Because he, he's so childish and immature. Immature is what I call him. Immature. Trying these kind of jokes and jabs. Boy, I tell you here. Boy is right. Because you're a boy is what you are truly. Um, thank you, Gloria, for that. Thank you, Gloria. Yes, love and likes there, my people. And please follow the Moist TV page for a lot of reasons, all right? Please, Moist TV, follow the page. Because, yes, we know that the reporting, only God knows if he might put some people under attack while he's away. Because every time he go away, something always go wrong. So, please. Love and light, sharing is scaring, and follow the Moist TV page, just in case. <laughs> One moment, he's making a fool of himself, exactly, Christy, running Porter. You're correct about that. He has been now for two years, and he's still in learn from the first day that he came out here on social media. and From the time he came out here on social media, he already made a fool of himself there, right? But the things he came out here and said, then came back the next day. Some of them, not to my knowledge. This one is true, but this one's not to my knowledge. Turn around. I'm going to apologize to the, to the OBD family, to that OBD. All of this, he already was making a fool of himself. Thank you so much, Davina. Karen Ross, thank you for 100 stars. Appreciate you. Already made a fool of himself there. Exactly, Selma. Uh-huh. That's where I was going with that one, darling. Selma said it. Selma said, why is he dwelling on the attack so much? Is he guilty about something? There you go. Exactly. He gone away on vacation, but still dwelling on the attack. Still throwing little things out there for what? 
We know that immediately after Cora got attacked in the UK, that man was out here ranting and raving like a guilty person. Like he was scared that somebody gonna find out something and now I gotta come and tell my story and this and that. It didn't make sense. And it still don't make sense up to the day. Because he was acting like a person that's guilty. That's how he was acting. Like he was trying to defend himself just in case something was found out. So that what you just said was exactly what I was thinking. Thanks everybody putting in there. He talking about it. Evanny said the evil he did to Keo will live after him. This is the end of him. Women, women power. Women power is right. And it is the end because of his own doing. Nobody should say no women bring him down. Women looking, he said out his one more, right? A couple months ago. Gloria Jones, thank you so much for 200 stars. I appreciate you. A couple months ago, he said that women are trying to bring him down. No, you're trying to bring down yourself. You bringing down yourself, not women. Women are standing for the injustice and what's right. Women are talking about your behaviors and what you're doing. And women are giving their opinions and reactions. No woman is trying to bring you down. Because if women were trying to bring you down, the 8.6 million or 8.7 million followers that Cora got, they would have gone and report you to the Portugal immigration and say that you're coming in there to doing some sort of trafficking. They would have gone and tell them us the whole kind of things if women were trying to bring you down. But I should show you that women are not trying to bring you down because women did not do that. It is your people who are the T's that went to report Cora when she went to UK. Your people, your evil, wicked ones. So that show you that Cora's uh, supporters and fans, they're not evil and wicked. Because if they were, they would have done exactly what yours did. Report you. But nobody cares about you or what you do. Nobody. Whatever you do is your business. People just want you to move on. Leave Keo alone. Start throwing your little boy jabs. Start throwing your little boy stuff to think that you can discredit Cora. And just move on with your life. Because she doesn't do it to you. She does not do it to you. Because I bet if she come out here and throw jabs at you. And start acting like a little girl. Like oh you're acting like a little boy. Social media will shut down. Social media will shut down. Because we know that you got a lot of little little dark secrets. That are hiding. A lot. So all the day said, one moment, let me read that. So try to get to it. One moment. All the day said, Jesus, where did it go now? Forgive me one moment. I think it went up too fast on my phone. Simply Sweet Peach, the guy is um, matured but obsessed with K.O. I'm hanging on to her name for relevance. He can't stop because... Her name makes him cash out on the internet. It's crazy that the guy includes her girls too. He loves himself and no one else. And you're correct. And I mean, yeah, you're right, right? He is a grown man. He's 35, but yeah, he acts like a little boy. Little boy's behaviors is what I'm talking about. But you are correct, right? The fact that he also has Cora's pictures on his website still is another prime example that he's still using K.O., not only her name, still her pictures for his own purposes. Why don't he take down them pictures, find another woman to put them up there, whether he pay one or whatever, stop talking or mentioning Cora. He will be like a, a thing of the past. The only people that will remember him truly is the ones that follow him. Outside of that, nobody else, because nobody knew him or knew his name until K.O. introduced him. We never heard of him. Just like how we never heard of that fried Toto either. Nobody knew them. It's when Keo introduced him to us. Keisha H said, when, when, I'm sorry, whenever they do something wrong, they always tell on themselves. Exactly. And he is the prime one at that. Prime one. Why are you aware and still talking little smack about attack? And still trying little jabs. And I even heard somebody saying that at the airport he was talking something about, about twerking. He should twerk or something because people think that that's famous or popular. Some, and I'm thinking to myself, is this man okay? 
Hey, are you okay? You gone away, but Keo is still right here. Your obsession is very dangerous, bro. Your obsession is sad. Get a grip of yourself before you wreck yourself, buddy. Well, I mean, you already did anyways. But um, Tina said, and I'm doing my best to read at least some of your comments. Tina, Tina said, he is so petty. Even talking about the attack is so childish. I'm telling you. Period. Very. That's why when I heard you guys putting it in there, I was like, what? For what reason? What reason is he saying that? Almost like he's trying to joke about it. And why would a person want to joke about something like that, right? Because you think that maybe you had a hand in it and, oh, they can't find the person or they or you got away with it again. But you know what? At the end of the day, we thank God that it did not succeed. Whatever plans or whoever plotted it, it failed. Failed miserably. Yes, it happened, meaning the person was there, but it failed. Because God was in the mix there with Korah. From the time that Korah, they call him Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. He came to her rescue. No wonder why that woman left you. Because she thinks he's a little boy as well. But Morris, Morris said, K.O. supporters are too busy catching flights. Cr cruising, cruising, cruise. Making money. Enjoying their friends and family. We don't have time for nonsense. Period. Exactly. Making money moves. Exactly. You said it right there, Morris Mars. I love that. I love that. And you're absolutely correct. That's the big difference with KL followers. That's why I said yesterday, he could sit over there and call Koreans the T word. But at the end of the day, the true T's are the people over there that's following him. His supporters, those ones are the T's. Those ones that will go to any length to try to bring Korea down. To reap up, dig up, whatever they can on anybody else thinking that they can get people to shut up. It don't work like that. Thank you so much, Mama, for the thousand stars. Appreciate you always. Everyone, I appreciate all of you. Mama said, God does not sleep. Sooner or later, we will find the truth behind the lies. Amen. Love that, love that. Cassandra Reese, thank you for 50 stars. Cassandra Reese said, he is guilty as sin. Amen. I agree with that as well. I felt that way from the time he came out here with his behavior. The day after Cora was attacked, I was like, mm -mm, something is not right. Mm -mm, something is wrong. Why is this man behaving like this? He's acting like somebody that guilty. And not only that, run to a police station to go and report. What, what the hell are you going to report? What were you going to report for? It didn't make no sense. It was not adding up. People only go and run and report themselves. Or try to clear themselves when they feel like maybe they have something to do with it. But I, it wasn't me. I was right here in the United States. She's all the way up there in the UK. I'm sure he told them all of that. And what was the reason for that? Nobody had came out here and said, it is her ex. It is her ex. Her ex is the one who did it. He's the one who planned. Nobody had said that. But this man just started off. And then all of a sudden... Here we go again. More stories. I got to tell my story again. And I say again because last year he had already told a story. Now I'm coming back to tell another story. Well, we can get another story when the end of this year again. Man, I tell you. It is really, really sad. And I don't know if this man will ever move on with his life. I believe truly. <laughs> Sandra Watkins, man, you got to be kidding me. Sandra Watkins said... He said he got class. Which kind of class? You mean a class like going to sit to train, right? Not real class like in real life, right? No, 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 no. That's the biggest story I heard all year. That's the biggest lie I heard all year. What class is that? Please. He don't even know what I mean anyway. So forgive you right there. So he don't know what I mean. <laughs> Magnus said he's back to looking like a weird wolf because there's no way to... To give him free haircuts. He was just playing along with that anyways. Because that man is so hooked on kale. I didn't know what to say. You got it bad boy. Throw away them panties that you got at your house. That you kept after Cora leave. Get rid of them. Because they got you whip. <laughs> Throw them panties in the trash please. You are obsessed. You're acting like a person that's whip. 
you're acting like a man that's still over there smelling panties every opportunity that you get. Throw them away. Just like how the alleged camera is still in your possession, only God knows what else over there is still in your possession, sir. Please, we beg you. Because you got to move on and do something different. Because I don't know where your obsession is going to lead to. Honestly, where is this obsession going to lead to? I mean, it might end you up in a, a, the orange jumpsuit. But for the sake, for Christ's sake, like the people will say, throw away them panties, please. Or wear them, smelling the moist. Exactly, Sophia. <laughs> or wear them. And maybe when you wear them, it will give them a different smell. We don't know which one that would be, but <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me, my people. I just had a moment there. But I don't know what else to say about this man because I this man is whoop. His own people can't even see it. They cannot see that this man got a problem. They can't see it. They say, oh, he move on. Why you people don't move on? He ain't move on nowhere. He has not moved on. And that's why it's so dangerous. And that's why we're going to keep talking about it. Because we want him to know that we see him. We know that he has not moved on. We see him. The only thing we can see is the panties that he kept when Cora left. That the only thing we can see. Just like how the high chair, Cora left, forgot the high chair over there. The baby high chair. He used it, right? She had to get a new one. How much more things do you think that was left over there? Maybe an underwear that fell behind the bed or fell on the bed and Corey wasn't even wasting time to sweep under there. Only God knows. Mix up in the laundry. Hello. The man is stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck like glue. And y'all people can't see it. Can't see it. And his poor little mama over there trying to help him with his little dirty work. It's a shame. A shame that a mother cannot tell a child. The right path. Leave this alone. Live your life. Just go up here in peace. For the love of your children. For the sake of your children. Because let me forget what I love. For the sake of your children, leave this alone. She can't tell him that. That's sad. Sad. Next thing you know, if he end up in the orange jumpsuit, she's going to be like, oh, I, I, I tried to help him. I tried to help him, but he just wasn't listening. I told you exactly what you need to do already. Cut the man off. Mama, mama, my mama, my mama, my mama. Cut him off. If you cut him off, if you tell him straight up, you don't put this to rest and move on with your life and you continue with this nonsense, we, we can no longer talk to you. Don't call me to tell me Cora did this. Cut him off. Do that and see which one he would choose. And if he choose to continue, then I won't talk to him. He will have to continue his nonsense. And when he end up in trouble, he ain't got nobody to blame but himself. But no, you come, you help him build the bed, help him build this. Say me, no, I ain't come here for no childbirth. There, what are you talking about? That's not why I come here. What kind of grandmother are you? What kind of grandmother are you? He made it believe that you had came for Tina's birthday. And you said, I'm not here for no birth. That's not the reason I came. Shame on you. No wonder why that boy can't be no better. Because his upbringing was not good. You did not bring him up the right way. And even now going on 36 soon, look at him over here behaving like a little boy. He all the way on, all the way on a trip. He can't wait to get out of L.A. But he took, he took L.A. with him. He took California with him. Does that make sense? <laughs> Peggy Senior said, Mama is afraid of him. She can't cut his, can't cut him off. My mama, my mama, my mama, my mama is a saint. You know, my mama, my mama brought me these glasses. You can't even say mama without saying it three or four times. <sighs> I tell you, Jesus, I tell you. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Tina said he can't even shave. Jesus, we got me, it's gone. I'm sorry, Tina. That one was there. Let me see if I can see it on this phone because I want to read about the shave part. Hey, one moment. And if anybody requires something, I'm ignoring you. It's just I haven't seen it. Oh, Lord, Tina, where did the thing go? Hey, if you're trying to say that the man can't shave himself, I believe that part. 
because I never seen him shaving himself before. Saw so, Cora shaving his arm because he like he didn't even know how to use a shaver. Like he never even shaved in his life. Cora had to come all the way from the motherland just to shave his arm. And even when she was doing that, he was acting like somebody was like, "Are you sure?" Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sorry. God. Hey Jesus, I'm sorry, my people. I'm trying to read cool. um, Tina comment, but I can't see it. Hey, hey, hey. Tina, I'm sorry. But anyhow, I can't go back because I can't see it. But Elise said the mom raised a convict son 10 years in prison and husband 3 years federal prison. But you know the same mama that said that, that his father didn't wasn't in jail or didn't go to jail? Unless that's maybe the next man that's the father. Because you know that the one that lived at the house was in jail allegedly for 3 years. And that was when he was born. So the question is, did she go to the jail? And got in all with the daddy, or was it another man on the outside? That's why she's saying that another man never went to jail. Look, that story there is just a mystery here. I don't know, but I that woman said that here. I heard her say that on his video when he was interviewing her. <laughs> she said that on her mouth. Listen to it on King Page. She said that that his daddy never went to jail. She was talking about his real daddy. Then he said, "That's what I'm beginning to believe." That she was talking about his real daddy. Because when I listened, I heard it. I was like, say what? What? So that must not his. That one in the house that went to jail can't be his real daddy. We leave that one there. So that's why that man don't come and visit him. Only his mama come and visit. Not the pet daddy that in the house. Uh, exactly, Peggy. Senior said, we see him in a negative light. He's got the chaos syndrome bad, real, real bad. And I tell y'all exactly the reason why. I'm telling you. Bola Ishaw said, it's difficult to move on for him because he needs to help calculate chaos income. <laughs> exactly, right? Because he's missing that money. Bad, bad, bad. He's missing that money. Mama, oh my God. I hope you didn't hear me talking about some panties over here, Mama. Sorry. Mama requests again. Request again, Mom, I feel. I don't know. It always does that sometimes on the first try. Charlene Williams, thank you for 20 stars. I appreciate you. <laughs> Delray said, that's why he's much shorter, too. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, no. The one the mother lived with is not his papa. I believe that, darling. I truly believe that, Sandra Green. All right, Mama, let's see if it works now. He's thinking. Good morning, Mama. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. I thank God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, all women lovers, Cora lovers, everybody. We all care for one another. That's what we need to do. That's what the Bible says we should do. Amen. Care for one another. Encourage one another. Yes. This is a work we are doing. It just seems that we come mm -hmm. to only keep conversation in the morning, but this is a work, and God acknowledge that. Amen. Because He said we should encourage one another. This is for real. Yes. If you have not seen it or have not heard it, this is for real. Yes. Women coming together just for not only Cora alone, but for every other woman who have been hurt. Or who is still living in the hurt, who need to get out, they'll find their way out. Amen. There are so many. Amen. So many. Well, they mm. come back to the topic. They go back to the caption. Hmm. I am so happy and so excited in my spirit. Yes. What Cora did. And more will come. Amen. More will come. That's why I said that they keep working on, on the things that they're doing. More will come. Because you know what? You can't beat somebody one spot over and over, over and over. Mm-hmm. When you beat somebody one spot over and over and they turn to you, right. it's dangerous. True. 
beating one person one spot. Thank you, Tessa, for this. Service. Every day, you don't they don't sleep. Ooh, when this thing good. happened about these children pictures about this woman going out, none of the people that are supporting him ever mm -hmm. talk about it. They never talk about it because that was not their children. If it were their children, they would have said something. True. True. But it's grown women, all women, that say they have children. They saw they get daughter pictures or whatever, whatever they did out there. When this man sent it to people, that woman going in there, mm -hmm. they never said anything. But True. these are the same people stay after Cora everywhere she goes. Exactly. They're going after Cora everywhere. None of them said anything about it. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you want to support someone or you are supporting someone, tell them the truth. Right. Tell them the truth. Because of the children. Okay, if you don't like Cora, that's fine. That's your opinion. But you don't like the children also. Right. You don't like the children also. What kind of hate is this? This is evil. This is evil. Evil women gathering together with an evil man. I'm telling you. <laughs> evil women gathering together with an evil man to demonstrate an evil act. Mm -hmm. These are the kind of people that we should be afraid of and we should be careful to even be around. People like those kind of women, I don't even want to drink water from you. Right? Water. Hmm. Water. Mm -mm. But Cora, I thank God she took the stand for her children. And I don't care what happened. Those children will know that their mother fought for them. Amen. And they will also want to, they want to find out from their dad, why did you allow the woman in the house with us? Because there are some kids that don't forget things easily. True. Junie is four years old. Or maybe five, if I'm not mistaken now. Or she going to five years old. She's four going to five, right? Yeah. Okay. So, do you think there, there, there are children who things happen around them when they were four years or five years old and they still remember to this day? True. There are children like that. There yeah. are children that will remember. All these things that happen in one day, those children will look at them and they say, we remember. Mm-hmm. When I was in my dad's house, this woman came there. Exactly. Because everything that happened in that house, that girl would come and talk. She would say certain things. Then they would, he would brush it off. She talked about the video. They brush it off. He brush it off. Here is people. Mm -hmm. Do you know where Cora coming from? Cora is coming for them one by one. Mm -hmm. That's what it costs. Suffer, suffer, catch monkey. I'm sorry if you all people before I say I'm prejudiced, but if I'm prejudiced, eh, I'm prejudiced against myself anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I think, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's an animal that very quiet. Mm -hmm. I want to bring enlightenment. Suffer, 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 suffer is, a, is an animal that is very quiet, slow in walking, very calm. Mm -hmm. So other animals in the bush, they take advantage of it. They make fun of it. Mm -hmm. They make fun of the suffer, suffer, but suffer, suffer is very strong. It doesn't climb tree. It goes under the tree. They way it find a way to go there. So when they, when they want to climb in a tree or want to sit under the tree, the M-O-N-K-E-Y will jump and running from tree to tree, jumping all over the place. Mm. And sometimes will step on the, on the surface of a head and bounce and go. <laughs> so the surface of his head, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait right under the tree. You know what monkey on when they're eating the M O N K E Y when they're eating anything drop they come back down to pick it up. Mm -hmm. They go up there, they pick cut things, they go up, and when they drop from them, then they come down to pick it up. And then when the surface of it can catch them. 
When suffer, suffer, catch them. They're not going to let it go. They both will stay there and, and until they leave, until they die. They will hold it tight. Very strong animal. Wow. There is no way. It will hold it tight. It's not going to leave it. And when you stay there, you, they're going to, they're going to both going to stay there and they're both going to die together. That's surface of it. That's why the people use that as a surface of a catch monkey. Surface of it does not bother you. Very quiet and slow. But if it grab your hand, yeah. <laughs> it will take a man to take your hand from there. So you're staying right there to that scene spot. What they have been doing to this girl, taking advantage of her. This man going all over the place, mm -hmm. doing things out of the way, from the mother then to the children now. Yeah. From the mother then to the children, taking this woman. What what a hand over this man can take this woman take and bring for this man? No Walmart t-shirts. <laughs> she go and buy the Walmart t-shirts for him. <laughs> put an email and send it to him. He doesn't even know the difference. Then he take those things and come and sit down. With one corner, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. He put on one side yet. The other new one she sent with the three different who can who you are going to buy t shirt for four different colors, huh? Five different colors you buy for him, like you buy for a little baby. Even little boys will not like that. But for a grown old man sitting there waiting for a woman, infinitely different, who she's not even allowed to see her own children or her grandchildren. Mm. Then you bring that woman in your house because she's giving you something. Mm -hmm. Because she's giving things to you. She's handing things over to you. Collecting money for you. Yeah. Yeah. Putting your children name on, on, on social media. Asking people to donate. Right. Looking for money. People making money out of your children. You think Cora's stupid enough to sit down and see that? That the people showcase, they, they make your children to be a showcase? Sure. To get money out of your children while you are alive, while God is blessing her, then you want to showcase her children. Mm. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. But, but time coming, more coming out. Amen. This one that just small, that just small, because uh, filing the 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 how they call it restraining order. The restraining order. That just one face of it. Right, right. In order to stop her from going over there. But the act, they're gonna they're gonna deal with that. Mm -hmm. Because to take those children pictures and the way the children were behaving in the place, and this woman already got a record on her. Right. They're coming there. They will come for that. The restraining order now, she will not go there. Now her stay by. But there's a case stay going on. Y'all will hear it. Mm -hmm. That's a case going on right now. The restraining order is there, but not only to stop her from going there, but the act, what she did there, mm -hmm. is also in fire. Mm -hmm. It's also in fire. And this particular man, let him go any part of the world that he want to go. Because nobody know where he go. Nobody know what he went there for. But if you look at the whole thing, the whole scenario, everything that is going on right now, yeah, there's something that I sat down last night and thought of it about Cora attack in London. Mm -hmm. Cora attack in London bringing a lot of things up. A lot of things coming out. And I hope people pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. The behavior, the attitude, there are things that are happening right now. That shows that something is wrong somewhere. Yeah. Something is wrong somewhere. And the thing that going on, go will expose everything that is happening right now. Everything that is happening right now will be exposed. Amen. By the grace of the Almighty God. Because you cannot play this kind of evil like this. Plenty around, calling people, you come, you stand up. Mm -hmm. He just made an announcement. America should come. Anybody who's American should be pissed right now. And they all should come. 
And y'all make sure y'all do your duty. Right. Yes, this man is dangerous. He is dangerous for Cora and for the children. Mm -hmm. He is dangerous. He is dangerous. And people should look at him now and just continue praying for her. And they got prayer warriors that are praying for this girl and her children. And when you pray for her, do not pray for her alone. Pray for her children. Because to have yeah. a, to have children by such an individual, the grandmother said it's a mess. Right? The yeah. grandmother is a mess. She didn't bring her son or good. No. She didn't bring her son or good. She didn't show him nothing. She didn't show him the way in and the way out. That's why he's there, hurting everybody and don't even care. Hurting Cora and her children and don't even care. And he doesn't even care whether it will come after him tomorrow. Right? He doesn't care about it tomorrow. He only care what he can get. Exactly. Come on, example. You are sitting there. The best spaghetti you ever ate. The best thing you ever ate. Does he have sense? Hmm. Some are gone. Then you go on to but, another place. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. But, trying to change the scenario. Trying to change the topic. So the other people from the boulevard gave you money. 50, 150, 150 they were collecting. You go on that side. Our friend pay your way. Because I saw another type and he said, he said, mm -hmm. hey, friend, pay his way. Mm -hmm. What is hurting this man? Your friend will pay your way to go to Portugal. Mm -hmm. The purpose you went there for, he pay your way. Let me tell you, it's coming closer. Your mark this. Something is about to happen that it will shock the whole social media. God is about to open up something. Even the people that are supporting this man, they will be shocked. Some of the people will be shocked that are supporting this man. Because God is now ready to open up. He's ready now to open up. It's a dangerous man. Yeah. His mother can handle him. That mother you see sitting in Oregon can't handle this son. Mm -hmm. The brothers can't handle him. No friend can handle him. He thinks different. Yeah. His mentality is different. His thinking process is different. Mm -hmm. Everything he does is completely different from a real human being. You're right. And these are the kind of people we see every day on the RD. When they catch them, they sit down before the camera, before they realize who they are. Or before people realize who they are. But this guy is dangerous. Hmm. For something to happen to your children's mother, they attack her. Hmm. Right away, he came up. Bam! He was the first right. that came up. To accuse people going to her place, people going to this... If you are in America, you 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 born in America, you know how some of the, the lies and the deception when it come to this color. You know how they can put things together when it come to this color in America. Yeah. I remember way back there was a black guy. He just wore his sweat suit. He was joking in the neighborhood. He had just moved in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. He was joking in the neighborhood. And they cut by him. The man stayed to his house. The man in the street in the neighborhood joking. And starting. Yeah. Young, handsome man. That was 1998. Hey. 1998, yes. Okay. That was a fine man. He dropped. The man got his gloves, everything on him, just joking. Mm -hmm. So they saw him in the neighborhood, claiming that he's a 
criminal. He's not. Mm -hmm. Before they came back and arrested them, they said they didn't know the man. You in the neighborhood, anybody can buy a house in the neighborhood. Right? Exactly. He's not doing anything. He just dress up, came back to mass, to, to, to jog around the, in the neighborhood. Now you, you went and took your, your, your stuff, your GUN, and brought him down. And standing there and telling people you thought he was a, he was a criminal. It was somebody who came to take something from you. Mm. And I saw one again. During that time, there were gas stations. I think it was, two, it was, it was 1993. Mm -hmm. The gas station, there were no gas. There were two, it was hard for people to get gas. During the time, there was, there was, there was the, the Kuwait, Kuwait war. America was in Kuwait. And there, there was no gas. You could stay in line. I think if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, 90, 90, 90, 92 or 92, 93, between 93 and 94, the Kuwait war. America was there. This doctor, a doctor, a sergeant, debut, mm -hmm. came from the hospital where he overlapped everything on him. All the cars during that town, he used to pike. You got to pike behind one car to another car, one car to another. This other car got to move before you move. He said the guy crossed in front of him hmm. with his car to take the gas. He said the guy passed in front of him, went back in his car and took the G-U-N and came and shot me. Just for gas. Wow. I have seen that here. Mm. Just for gas. I've seen another one who in the neighbor grass. He said the guy caught the grass and the grass dropped in his yard. Mm. Because he was a bee. He was a bee. And he was a debut. Mm -hmm. Somebody caught grass. Why you can't tell them to take the grass? From your yard, then you come. You say they're cutting that grass with a with a lawnmower, and the grass coming in your yard. Mm -hmm. Went back in the house and came mm -hmm. and brought him down. Mm -hmm. I have seen plenty. That's why I said these people, the Africans, some of them sit down in Nigeria. They don't know, or other part of Africa, they don't know. Mm -hmm. But when you're dealing with a debut in this United States, they feel that you can take advantage of any bee. Right. And nothing will come out of it. Exactly. Especially when it comes to money, it comes to property, it comes to anything. They lie, they do anything to us. And then our own people put in their own daughters and they don't mm -hmm. even care. They're looking at this man like a normal person. He's not a normal person. He's not a normal person. I sing for his father. Why his mother come and go run? Right. To even come on 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 the on the on, on, on the interview with him. You can tell that something is wrong with this boy. Right. He needs his medication. True that. Mm. Something is wrong with him. He looked normal, but he's not. Mm -hmm. He is not normal. And that's why some of the people that are in Africa don't know the difference because you they, they are not working with those kind of people. Right. You don't know the difference. Exactly. If you see the man behavior, you can tell that something is wrong. First of all, he's not stable. Instability. He's not okay. 2023, 20, 20, he was a different person. 2022, 20, he was a different person. 2024, 20, he's a different person right now. Now he on the traveling move. He will tell you. He traveling now to Portugal. When he come from there, maybe he going to Africa. <laughs> maybe he will go back to London. God. Maybe he will go to the other place. He will go to that place. And he not bringing no result. All right. You take Ghana car, he was a Ghana car, 2023. <laughs> 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 
Right. He was going to follow till 2023. Exactly. 2022, he was educating us. We are not critical thinkers. He was teaching the critical thinkers. Mm -hmm. 2022, went to a how we don't think how Africans are stupid. They don't know nothing. All oh, the just well, women are, well, women, women, then when we came to 23, they said women want to get him. Women is trying to bring me down. Mm -hmm. Women is trying to bring me down. When we enter 2023, and women is trying to bring me down. We move from there. In the middle of 2023, that was to crack the booms. Mm. We crack the booms, crack the booms. Somebody took him from the shelf at the end. And the one that picked him up from the market at the end, the one ran away again. Exactly. Now the one that I'm going to marry. I'm going to marry her. She's mm. going to be my wife. She cooked me the best spaghetti, the best sausage. I ate it. Mm, taste it. How does it taste? That one gone. Mm. After that, he's now in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the Dominican Republic. He went there. Mm. Watch the move of this man to know that Cora went through a lot. Yes. Cora went through a lot. To stay four years with this man. Let me tell you, this guy went through a lot. Now, watch the month he gone to Portugal. Watch the month. Oh, God. We're talking about because the month ending to, today, today the last day of April, right? Portugal. He will be back maybe May. <laughs> May, June, July, August, three more months gave him. That story of the traveling will change to another thing until he can lay out again to see where he's going to go he's not going to be stable with anything but yet he's a businessman but you don't see the business this is an evil man lay out to drag women and destroy he can this kind of human being can take your take somebody's life without even thinking hmm. without even thinking if you look at him the way he talks, the way he do things, and he doesn't care whether something happened to someone. He have no compassionate spirit. He have no time. He doesn't care, but he only care about himself, not even his children. He is dangerous to society. The community is in danger. Listen to this today. Listen to this today. Summer. I pray that she will come on one day. Mm -hmm. What she experienced before running away, yeah. she, not running, she didn't run away because of Cora. No. She didn't I'm... run away because mm -hmm. she's not a woman. Yeah. She didn't run away. Something caused her get to brush the dust off her feet and go. Yeah. And she looked like someone who was brought up in a Christian home. How did I know that? Because I see what she writing, how she write her comments. Mm. Somebody from a Christian home, from Mississippi. Mm. Your watch of this guy. Every step of the way, you who are blockers, you don't forget. Watch and see, he's going to Portugal, see what's going to happen there. Watch his move, watch his body language, watch everything he's doing. This man is evil, he's dangerous. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, no joke. We are praying and we're not going to stop. We're going to continue praying for Cora and her children, but he's a dangerous person in the society, in the community. Yes. He is dangerous, he is dangerous. Mm. He can do anything and don't care. He doesn't have compassion and spirit. He can do anything. And we we'll continue to bring it to light. Because you will listen to the video and you will know that we know who he is. Mm -hmm. We yes. know who you are. Everything you're going in secret to play against Cora and her children, it will be exposed. Amen. Because there is a God that is watching. I said it yesterday and I'm saying it again today. And I want you to listen to it. This man. Let me show you how many friends he has. Mm. Girlfriend can stay with him. Cora did where to be with him. That thing will start with him. Yeah. If he doesn't take his medicine, 
if you are not smart any woman who's smart will run because when i think coming on them they don't care they can even throw themselves on the ground they can bust things it can just come they can bust things they can do a lot of things then when they take their medication and they come by then they look like normal person then they look like normal person and they will come back and sit with you and talk and everything the next minute they go back into it that's why they got to take their medication they can they, they got if that six hours medication they're supposed to be every six hours they're supposed to take it something that woman know who was on it cora knows that's why she said every other day there's something else every other day there's something else cora kept seeing it look in her book y'all go back and read her book you will understand what she was talking about something is wrong with this individual this particular individual he just dropped in the community drop in society and the mother know it right. and he's not taking care of himself he's not taking his medication he need help this guy need help and i will say it today i'll say it tomorrow this guy need help there's no way Cora will go to london Cora attack in london he calling police to report what? Right. He coming to ask me story for what? True. He coming to tell that somebody went to a door, my children were in the house at 3 a.m. They're knocking. Who eyes you? My God. Something mm. is wrong with him. Mm. Something is wrong with this guy. Thank you, man. The mother is aware. Now watch it. And we'll continue to pray for Cora. Everybody on this time, we see everything. Y'all watch him, where all he's going, where all the things he's doing. Y'all watch that. When he come by, the story going to change. And I know the story, he will change it again. He will come back again. He will change it and bring another thing again. He will go back again and bring another thing again. Now, for now to July, after July, the trip will on. By June or July, the story will change. He will come by to teach again. He coming by with teaching more again to start teaching us how we are the the the, the, the Korean are thieves. We are all all thieves and all the kind of thing. He will come call me. Then he move from there and bring something right. up. But I thank God that Cora is taking the stand for her children. Amen. She's taking the stand for her children because this is the same man. That turned the, the, the black doll babies upside down. Exactly, Mama. And put a sunset on. And have over an hour people watching the sunset with the doll babies upside down. Mm -hmm. That's the same man. When I talk about it, mm. I say, What are you trying to do? What signal are you giving? What sign are you giving? Exactly. And he went and deleted it, took it from a page. And I'm staying from that time, stay watching mm. this man. I'm watching him. And Cora, thank God you watching everything you see is everything. Some you hear because the old people say you got your ear right side you, but you don't hear everything. Your ears don't hear everything about you. Other ears have to hear it and come and tell your ear. Mm -hmm. So when other ears, other ears hear it and come and tell your ear, and other eyes see it and come and tell your eye, take it serious. And your children, yeah, your life matters, and your children' life matters. Amen. This individual you live with, you have two children by. You're supposed to know something. Of course. Don't take it lightly. Continue to do the things that you are doing. Continue to work, suffer, suffer, catch monkey, slowly, slowly, slowly. You take your hand out. You came out. Slowly, 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 you will get the children out too. Amen. Jesus. Slowly, you're going to get the children out. And yeah. we are praying for the children. And he's going to hang himself. Nobody's going to hang him. Exactly. Nobody going to hang him. He's going to hang himself. He the one pulling his own rope. And as he continue to pull his rope, the rope will pull bush. And when the bush come, they will have people to that have long more, and they will go and call it. They will go and call it. They got people that can cut it. So then he call the bush. Yeah. Then he pull the rope. Let the bush come. You will see how it will be cut. But this individual is not. It's not somebody to even laugh with, to joke with. It's not somebody. What we are saying, 
And what I am saying, I don't take him for a joke. No way. Right. The only thing I can tell him, he will find himself behind bar. Right. He will exactly. find himself behind bar. He will find himself behind bar, and the children will be said the children will not be with him. Yeah. Because there's something, Marky, mm -hmm. there's something that's going to come out. Yeah. And we are looking forward to it. I'm not saying that I went to go check the research. I'm talking about God. Amen. I'm not doing research. I'm talking about God. Elohim. Yeah. Elohim is about to open up something. You will be shocked. Everybody will be shocked. Even if people mark this day today, the last day, the 30th. Don't tell me you forgot. Mark the 30th of April. what? April. Yep. The last day of this month. Mark it. Mark it. We all will hear a shocking, shocking story. Yeah. Not me say, thus says the Lord. Amen. We'll continue to pray. Yeah. Yes. For Cora and her children. Anybody, any blogger, anybody on this line that love Cora, continue to pray for Cora. Amen. Talk to God. Pray for Cora and pray for her children. All prayer warriors are ice Take this stand to pray for Korah and pray for children. Let God give her the strength. Let her open up. There is something she knows. Let her open up. Amen. She's afraid. Not because she come, she dance, she go. But she's afraid. She's afraid of him. Yeah. yeah. Every time she sees him, fear come upon her. Thank Everywhere you. she goes, fear. She got yeah. fear. She yeah. got to be places where she feel comfortable right now. Then I can make her free, free. Mm -hmm. But when she come home, she's not comfortable. Yeah. She's not comfortable right now. So let us, let us keep her in prayers and, and keep her children in prayers. Every time she see this man, her heart break. Mm. That's what we're seeing. And that's what we are praying for. Mm. For God to give us strength, yes. Yeah. Because of what she knows he's capable of doing. May God bless you all. Thank you. So we pray last night, twelve May night, and God revealed that. Yeah. Thank 12 you. Twelve May night last night we pray and God revealed that. But we're gonna continue. Nothing gonna happen to her life. Nothing gonna to happen to her children. Amen. Let us continue to pray, okay? Yes. All right. God bless you. I love you all. Thank you so much, Mama. We love you too. You're right, so welcome. Mm -hmm. God reveals to redeem. Amen. God reveals to redeem. He's the redeemer. Yeah. And our redeemer live it. And because he live it, so shall it be. Who he set free is free indeed. Nobody can destroy anything that God had put together, that God had fixed, that God had built. Nobody can bring it down. Except God allow it because He's Almighty. But Amen. that everyone be silent. Let God be God and let man be man. Let God be God and let man be man. And who is a mortal man that can lie, that can steal, that can kill, that can do anything, can stand before the breath of God? Mortal man. Mm -hmm. Mortal man that can lie and never say true. Mortal man that can steal can never do nothing straight. Mortal man that is crafty and corny. Yeah. We'll see. Yes. My yes. God is about to God is about to speak. Yeah. It will happen. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Mama. God bless. You're welcome. Thank you, Joan, for the stars. Thank you all for the stars. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you, thank you. You know, as Mama was speaking, I just got this chill, like a, a shiver. And I remember one thing that I remember. I remember more than one thing, but do you guys remember when Cora was spreading her hair at her friend, IJ, I think it was, before that last thing happened. And Cora, Lisa Carl, thank you so much for 200 stars. I appreciate you all. 
And Cora had just got there to get her hair braided. She came live and she was like, guys, mm, I don't know, I just dropped the kids off. And ooh, she went like, she got some sort of like a feeling, you know, like it was so weird. But it was, even though it was weird, it was like, she shaked like it was scary. I don't know if it was something that he had said to her or what, but I, as mama was speaking, I remember that particular instance so very well. I, I can still see it if I close my eyes. I could still see that day. Her hair wasn't started braiding yet, but she was like, guys, oh God, I just dropped my kids off and ooh, ooh. you know, and I, I, I could tell right there that something had happened. Exactly. Nori said he is one man wrecking ball. Yeah, and he's wrecking himself. That's the thing about it. You know, as people, even when we got our children, you talk to them about certain things, right? Don't do this because this could put you in trouble. Don't do that. And eventually, even if we got to tell them a few times, they eventually get it. This man, he ain't getting it. He's not getting it. We've been speaking about this since 2022, not in a negative way, right? Talking about it, encouraging the man to move on. Encouraging the man to move on is what we have been doing. From the beginning when this started, when everybody was shocked, some people thought it was a prank. All right, it wasn't talked about meaning about the things he was doing so much, but how he did it. But then when people thought it was a prank, seemed like it was simmer down until he went and recruited and brought on all of these women. When he brought on all of these women now to be part of, you know, his accomplice, whatever he was planning, that is when things started going a little bit different. And all he did was stay in the wrong lane, stay on the bad side. I remember there were so many times I kept on saying, these men, this man and his people don't know when to go home from the playground. They're on a playground that all they're doing is plain, plain evil play. All we ever did was tell the man move on. Leave this alone, Cora paint in peace. Cause that's what Cora was doing. That's all she wanted. That's all she wanted. But he did not want peace cause he didn't know what peace was. He did not know what peace meant. And now we live in to understand why he don't know what peace mean. Cause his life is not peaceful. He's not a peaceful person. His life is turmoil, turmoil. First marriage, busting holes in the wall. What's up with that? Busting holes in the wall. Got the first wife so scared, scared for her life. She go to places, he showing up, telling her he gonna copy himself, he gonna delete himself. For what? Who does all that kind of crazy behavior? And you think that he can go and get in a second marriage and don't come with some of them same behaviors unless he had gotten help? If God forbid, if that woman didn't run far away into hiding, only God knows. He would have probably still made her life a living hell for years after. Thank you so much, Mama, for 500 stars. I appreciate you. Mama said God does not, God does not sleep sooner or later we will find the truth behind the lies. Amen. Amen. Think about it, my people. If that woman did not go into hiding far away from that man, only God knows. Maybe she probably had a restraining order against him. Only God knows. He would have been making her life a living hell for years. Because that's who he is. That's who he is. That's the kind of person that he is. That's why when nobody knows what happened to him for 10 years of his life, think about the character of the person. Trouble, 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 trouble. That means that 10 years was missing because maybe, maybe juvenile detention, maybe mental institution, nobody knows. And unfortunately, because juvenile records are sealed, that's not something that people can talk about, even if they knew or know what happened to him for 10 years that he was missing. It cannot be talked about because he was a juvenile then. But my whole point is that his mama knows, right? His mama knows, perhaps the man that lived there knows, 
but they can't talk about it either but if his mom knows all depends on what it is that happened to him she can at least tell her son you know this stuff gonna lead you in a in a, a path that you don't want to go down where do you start these things since 2022 us people onlookers viewers have been telling this man give this up stop what you're doing co-parent in peace and move on with your life cora already moved on what is the problem he said but well, i moved on which we know was the biggest lie because he didn't move on he moved on to conspire with women conspiracy theory is what we call it that's how he moved on to plot and plan with all of these women he watching their live videos when they're doing it slandering defaming his ex trying to bring her down he watching over there going out into interviews with some of these same people that were in cahoots with him make it make sense make it make sense so nobody out here should say that nobody on chorus size supporters followers were ever wishing him bad that's not we were what we were doing nobody wished him bad all we said was move on with your life and core paint in peace because that's all Cora wanted that's all she wanted. Thank you, Verlin, for uh, responding to that person. Thank you, thank you. So what are we going to do? We're going to pray like Mama said, right? Pray without ceasing. Pray for Cora. Pray for her children, always. And all we can do is just, some people can pray for him too. Pray that he change. Pray that he finds some help that is needed because he desperately needs help. He needs help. And we can't take him to wherever he needs help. He got to be the one to acknowledge that and willing to get the help and go get it. That's what he got to do. But if he refused to get the help and he end up somewhere in an orange jumpsuit, then that was all he's doing. That had nothing to do with the public. Because the public was just trying to lead him in the right direction. Yes, a lot of people say, oh, it's none of your business. It's none of your business. Y'all uh, mind your own business. It wasn't none of the people that he went and gang up with business either, but he brought them in. So what do you think that God did? God surround Cora with a whole bunch of real life angels, like what she would call them. Real life angels, a whole bunch of women and some men out there as well. So that she would have that support for all the injustice. So when you people say, oh, it's not our business, okay, it is not. But he made it our business the day he came out on social media, the day that he decided to kidnap and take his own children and they want to give them back and then came to the public and say, are y'all going to help me? Yeah, we're going to help you. We're going to help you to realize that what you were doing was wrong and that you should move on. But the kind of help that you was looking for, nobody could help you with that because God was in control, not the people he was asking for help. What was they going to help you do? What you did was wrong. And you should have acknowledged that. Because when Corey gave you the case to watch so she can go and look for an apartment, she never said, when I come back, don't give me the case. Let you cock up this story in your head with the people that you're talking with that tell you, whoever got the case, when the court hearing comes and is over, those are the, that's the one that we keep the children. Wherever you get that story from. Maybe it was Marion that told you that. So because of that, you decide to hold on to the children. So of course, any woman will go and fight to get her children back from you because what you did was wrong. But you can see that what you did was wrong. You come out here, are you guys going to help me? I need help. I can't see my children for the next 28 days or 30 days before you're going to sit down and realize that what you did was wrong. What you did was wrong on all levels. And you're just going to see it. And that was way back then. That was way back in 2022. And we in 2024. And you still can't see the light. You're still continuing. Is, is that a person that's thinking logical? Is that a person that's thinking straight? No, it's not. That's why all of your friends run away. You blame your friends running away on other people. <laughs> you said your friends run away because of the Koreans, right? Because they were being attacked. Everybody that run away from you, you blame other people for the people running away instead of blaming yourself. Because maybe those people run away 
because they realize that they don't want to be caught up in the drama and the saga that you are continuing with. They don't want to be a part of it. So they chose to leave you by yourself. Selma says, simply sweet peach, do we, do we have haters on this live? Because I can't understand some of these comments. Only God knows, Selma. Haters are always around. That's why we love, keep giving the videos love and likes. Because these people, I don't know, like if they're living in the same reality as us, if they're seeing the same light that we're seeing, if they're seeing the truth, I don't get it anymore. It's all up here, painted. It's been painted for two years, and they still can't get it. They're still saying that Cora is this. They're still saying Cora people is this, Cora people is that. Everything that the man does, let me sweep it under the rug. Push it under the rug. That's what they've been doing for two years. Some of them fell off the wagon from his side because they finally see the light. But the others didn't. They're still there. Laura Lee said they are in the twilight zone, sweet peach. Exactly. Exactly. So many things. Even when Lola herself came out here and said that the man is not a good human being, talk about what the man mother was doing, begging her for money, what the man was doing. And this was one of his high people. Marion, Lolo, there were the high people up there, right? Even when she came out and said all that stuff, what did some of the people do? They run from she, run from her, and went to somebody else's page. Cause they didn't want to believe the truth. These people don't want the truth. They want lies, they want deceitfulness, they want what he's giving them. They're feeding their egos. That's what keeps them going. Until one day, like mama says, something is going to happen that's going to shock them all. And when it shocked them, I want to see what's going to happen. Are they still going to be saying, oh, Lord, and people push that man down to nothing, another man gone, and all this story they made up? Is that what you're going to say? Oh, Cora is the one that made these people do this. Cora is the one who made these people do that. Is that what you're going to say then? No, don't say that. Look back from day one and see who calls it upon themselves. Him, because he wouldn't stop doing what he's doing. At this point, two years later, your children are getting older. The kids are so smart. Give Junie another three years. She's going to be five soon. Give her another three or four years. You're going to see some of the things she's going to be seeing out there. Even maybe some of the schools that she's going to go to. Children might say, oh, I see you on the thing. Dad, your mom, your dad. Children talk. And they're very smart. So trust me, right now, this moment, your children should be your number one concern. Above anything else. Above any man above any woman, your children should be number one. But unfortunately, you're not putting your children as number one. You're putting your children way to the back over there, way to the back. But the good news is that Cora is putting her children here, even before herself, he, she's putting her children first. So we say, we are happy that she's taking a stand. We are happy and Anything that's needed out there, anything, Cora, if you hear this today, anything you need, say the word. We will be willing to get it for you, send it to you, whatever is needed for the court. We will be happy to retrieve it, video clips, whatever. So that way, justice will be served for the children because that woman had no right. Video recording them children or even taking pictures of them children. She shouldn't have been around those children to begin with, in my opinion. So Nori said, he exhibit the habits of a seasonal, I'm sorry, a seasoned narcissist person, which he developed from his childhood. Exactly, there you go. Now uh, Ferguson said, it's my business, especially if I'm on social media, seeing all this affecting me. There you go, all right? And who caused it to, who caused it? Who caused us to be part of it? He did, because we all were watching Cora. Some of y'all, some people came on afterwards, but we were watching them from before. We were already part of it, right? We were already part of their lives and watching and seeing. 
we were there. So absolutely, when he came out with this shocker, don't you think that he shocked all of us too? Yes, he did. He shocked all of us. That's why a lot of people say, oh, that's a prank. They're pranking us. They're pranking us. Because people were shocked. So yes, we were part of it. And we're still part of it. Because we were there. We were watching. And a lot of people still couldn't believe it up to months after this happened. They couldn't believe it. For a while, people were saying they're pranking us they're pranking us until the reality really set in but there wasn't no prank no prank Cora gave you what you asked for right well you said you were going to file a divorce you're divorcing Cora because this because that you no longer want to be married to Cora because of this because of that okay Cora gave you what you wanted she went and filed the divorce you didn't she filed it and she moved on and when they got her one bedroom apartment, she moved on. You told her that, you left, you went in at some friend's house. She stayed at the place where you were living until she found her own place. She moved on. What was your problem? And now today now, you're traveling and you're still talking about Cora. You're still talking about Cora while you're on the trip. Still making fun jokes about being attacked. For what? That's childish behavior, very immature. No, Ferguson said, Cora doesn't do prank videos. So I was shocked he did this. True. You're right about that. You know, for one time in 2022, I thought it was a prank too, until after the reality set in, no, this is no prank, man, no. This is no prank. Mm -mm. Especially when he came out telling the public he needed help. Are you gonna help me? I can't see my children for the next 28 or 30 days. I knew it wasn't a prank. Mm -mm. That was back then when I was watching him a little bit, you know, cause Corey had introduced him, tell us to follow him and so forth, you know, but after he did that and I watched him getting that child, milk, the powder, and even shake up properly at the bottom of the bottle. Newborn babe, you're giving raw milk. That's not even mixed properly. All at the bottom, the powder, and you on a live video. I said, wow, my God, my God. So sad. It's so sad. And what's even worse is that when you found out about what this woman came at your house and did to your children, taking videos and pictures, even with your children not wearing clothes, you did nothing, nothing at all. You didn't even address it. You didn't even talk about it. You didn't even mention it. You sat back and did nothing. So yes, I'm happy that Cora took a stand and I pray to God that he is also held accountable as well just for the simple fact that the woman said he knew about it. So court hearing coming up, if she got to go to court, I pray to God she's going to tell the judge that too, that he already knew about it. He approved it. He consent to it. He said it was okay for me to share with people. I want her to tell the judge that because he should be held accountable and by the grace of god that information will also be shared with cps as well because i say it now say it till kingdom come or till it happens the same god that delivered cora from out of that house that delivered her and that used him for cora to come out of the house will be the same god that will bring them kids out from that house as well because if you can't put your children first and they're not your number one priority, then you don't need to be sharing um, them children 14 days out the month. No, your days should be cut down. It should be cut down to maybe weekend or whatever, but not to have those girls for 14 days out the month. And again, if that happens, you cause that upon yourself as well. Morris, Morris said, I don't understand what Kale let me read that really quickly. I don't understand. Oh, it's a long one. Okay. I don't understand what Kale want from him. Hmm. When they were together, he never gave her a still a stable home. Uh, he was always absent, even through COVID. His job was not stable. So I can't understand what he's saying that Kale wants from him. He can't pay the rent student loans or children's school fees. 
he said that he'll wait for the court to tell him what to do with his kids. Hmm. Someone please let me know what do Kale want from him now? Not a damn thing. Not a thing. She didn't want nothing from him in 2022 and she still don't want nothing from him. Think about it, right? When Kale went to her apartment, the man didn't look back to help Kale with food, um, diapers. You just had a baby, right? No money to help buy diapers, nothing like that. She didn't ask him for nothing, nothing at all. That was a sign right there that she didn't want nothing from him. But I'm gonna read the rest here. Someone please let me know what Kale want from him now. He's not rich. He's not the most handsome man on earth. It's who she loved at one point in her life. Facts. The facade has worn off. Kale has finally moved on while he's stuck in quicksand. <laughs> so many people have thrown him a rope, a tree limb, but he refused to take the help. True. So quick sinking sand it is. Period. Exactly. You said it there. Because when his own mama should have been helping him and telling him, putting some sinks in his head, she wasn't. It was the public. It was other people. And mostly the people on chaos side. Because even the people that he gang up with, to do evil, they weren't even telling him that. They didn't even have his best interests at heart either. They weren't telling the man to move on. They were accomplices. They were trying to help him to bring Cora down. Instead of telling him like, you know what? You should just move on. It is over, co-parent in peace. That's what you should do for the sake of your children. No, they were trying to help him to do more, more evil, to do more wicked. Bad influence. The man got hooked up with the wrong people, but that's what he wanted, right? That's why it is dangerous. He is dangerous because a person that will seek to go and find people to help him do them kind of things is a dangerous person. That's like somebody going to try to hire a hit man to, to come and delete you. That's what them kind of people will do. They're dangerous and he is dangerous just for the simple fact that he did that. When one woman fell off the bandwagon, boom, who's the next woman in line that can help me? If somebody came and told us today or spilled their guts that he even talked to them about possibility of deleting her, I wouldn't even be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked because why? That's the character of the person that he's showing us that he is. That's what he's showing us that he is. Go back to the audio with Flora. The things that he was saying on that audio. Don't tell them it's me. Don't lead on to it that it's me. Because I'm not supposed to, to be even involved. I'm not supposed to be even doing this. But he had a woman doing it. But don't tell them it's me. Keep me clean. Keep my hands clean. Tell me that's not a person that's dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So my people, let us do what we have been doing for the past two years. Let us continue to pray for Cora and her children without ceasing. Um, let me see if it will connect you. Clarice Williams, it said it could not add you, darling. Try again. Let us continue to do that. Clarice, try again. Let me see if it connects you. Otherwise, I'm going to end this live video. Millington says, sweet peach, Cora cut him off after that infection <laughs> five months pregnant so he grew angry and no more money now he's a monster mm. he says exactly what he's saying that Cora is right because he is saying that she's a monster but we could see right through who is really who Ronaldine said they wasn't there for him it is because they hate Cora so that is why they with him true exactly it was because of the hate for cora it was also the jealousy they come from the same place <clears throat> sorry they come from the same place cora excels so much has done so much in her life in her career they just couldn't stand it they just could not stand it and they still can't they still can't 
All right, so Clarice, you're not um, trying again. So uh, let me just read one more comment, my people, and I'm out of here. Doris said, this trip is very odd as well. What is truly behind this? What is truly behind this trip? We will find out soon, I'm sure, because you know his mouth is like a... Mm, mm. <laughs> You know, he's like diarrhea, right? Mama said diarrhea mouth. So I'm sure that we will find out soon. So let's sit back and wait and see. But everybody should hold on to the, the pages. Everybody should hold on to everything. When you go watch videos, no matter who it is, give a lot of love and likes around this time. <laughs> a lot of love and likes because you know what he tried to do with my page. The last time we went to the DR in 20, December of 2022. Y'all remember if y'all were here. So give a lot of love and light, share the videos if you can, and just keep it going. Love and lights, my people. Love you all, and God bless you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.